Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> this is Lucy. She likes seeing herself in the camera. And Rachel is here. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't want to look at it. So Lucille I'm looks like she's to. over it already, too. So Javier is going to be looking. She's so cute. I love her. She's freaking out in there. She likes when I'm weird. Guys, I feel sick. Not it's because she's nervous. Yeah. Not because. Like, I have to throw up because I'm nervous. Yeah. Anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Do you want to know? Show them right now. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Uh. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. These are <laughs> happy tears. <laughs> They're not or they are? Uh, I was like, I knew, but like, now I know, so I'm like, fuck. <laughs> We're gonna have another one of those. <laughs> Yay! Surprise! We're expecting literally a surprise. <laughs> um, as you can tell from my reaction, uh, we were not expecting that. Um, well, I think by that point, we kind of had an idea that we might be, uh, but that test was like official. So. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh, I'm excited because obviously, I mean, you know, I've been bugging you about having more children. I usually don't miss my periods. Like they're pretty on schedule. And also I was on the pill. So they usually, I usually know when I'm going to get it. So I actually missed my period oh. when I was in New Orleans. Um, you thought you were going to get it. Yeah. I thought I was for sure going to get it because my first day there, happened to be on my birthday and I was supposed to start the next day according to my pills. I was supposed to start the next day, but like I was cramping like the whole day that I was like on my tour and stuff like I was cramping. My lower back was hurting really bad and I was just like I'm I'm going to get my period. And I thought and I didn't get it. And I thought it was because my the, I went with some other girls and I thought maybe we just threw each other off. So I wasn't worried, but then I just never got my period. So I was like, huh? And then about two weeks ago, we took a test and it was negative. So I was happy. She was very relieved. I was I really was very sad. <laughs> Were you sad? A little. Oh gosh! <laughs> well, this this month I didn't I didn't get it again. I was like, okay, like something's up. So I took a test. I took another test, mm -hmm. and that's what you guys saw on camera. Yeah, and it was positive. How exciting! Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't planned. Like Lucille was planned. This is definitely a surprise, um, uh, definitely. a blessing in disguise, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, if you guys saw, obviously you saw my reaction, I wouldn't say I was excited. Made me so sad. Per se, at first. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had a lot of uh, plans for this year, um, as far as like, career rise, just things that I wanted to pursue um, that now are going to be put on hold again. 
Um, so that kind of did make me a little bit sad. And also I just wanted Lucille to have more time uh, alone, just like to be the baby. And of course, you know, being a stay at home mom, come here, I can take her. You know, being a stay at home mom, it kind of means like that I have, well, I do have the responsibility of taking care of the kids, you know, which is, it's a privilege, but it also, it can be very stressful when I haven't slept. Like Lucille's a very stubborn sleeper. So, you know, just like things like that. Um, I also was a little bit worried. I kind of struggled a little bit with uh, like the postpartum depression with Lucille. Uh, and I just didn't want to start off this pregnancy like already like in a negative mindset. So, you know, with a lot of prayer and a lot of support and love from like my sister and I mean, pretty much just my sister and my husband, of course. Because <laughs> uh, at this point, we really haven't told anybody else yet, but we, we are going to. So I am actually kind of more excited now. Uh, like my sister told me, she's like, you know, like we make our own plans, but the Lord directs our steps. So I'm just going to trust in him and know that he has a plan for, for our family and that it's just going to be like a huge blessing. So. And now Lucille gets to have a baby brother or sister close in age. So that's exciting because none of my siblings, we, none of us are close in age. Like we're all like four, five, six years apart. Yeah. I'm just really excited to have another baby. Like, you know, it's always been my dream to have two or three kids and this makes three now. <laughs> He's so yeah. sweet. I'm kind of feeling a boy. Like I, I call myself the baby whisperer because like with my coworkers, I told them like, you're having this, you're having that. And I was right. <laughs> um, but I, I'm feeling a boy right now. Um, but I also, I kind of want another girl. Ow, she pulled my hair, that hurt. I kind of want another girl because I want Lucille to have a sister because I'm really close to my sister and I just want her to have that relationship that I have. Um, what about you, babe? I mean, I would like a boy because, you know, I've always wanted my little baseball player. <laughs> I know, uh, it's Lucille. D'Angelo hates base, uh, baseball. Well, he doesn't hate it. He likes going to the games, but he, like, he prefers to play basketball. So. Yeah, makes me a little sad. But. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping for a girl just because we have all this stuff. The only thing we don't have, <laughs> every time I start talking, she starts doing something weird. <laughs> Oh, the only thing we don't have is we got rid of the bassinet. Like if it was a boy, we would literally have to start all over. Because mm -hmm. I probably only have about like, maybe. We have a couple like gender neutral stuff, but like Ow. definitely not enough to like. And then your mom gave me some of your baby stuff. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, we basically have to like start over with a boy. <laughs> Um, you know, for me, like, I'd be happy with, with either, um, I would prefer a girl because I want her to have a sister. <laughs> Hopefully if it's a girl, she will be as sassy as this one, but. Did she just say mama? She always says that. So if we do have a girl, do you still want more kids? Yeah. How many more? At least one more. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like done. <laughs> Cause guys, I don't care what anybody says, no matter how many kids you have, the birth is always terrifying. It's always scary to me like I don't think I can ever get used to the idea of pushing out a freaking let watermelon out of 
there. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be too graphic. <laughs> um, yeah, like, it's just not... You know, I've had uh, three births. Uh, the first one was... I had an epidural, um, and the last two were natural. And I say natural all the way, but it's still scary. Um, and I think I think it just stems from my first experience. Like, but it still hurts. It the pain does not get any less. <laughs> um, and it's just it's because I know like it's coming. I think that's what scares me the most because I know what to expect. Like, you know, if all goes well. Okay. But I think we're going to have to wrap it up, guys, because she seems very cranky. We're probably going to have to nurse. I don't think she's too fond of the idea of having another baby brother or sister. So. <laughs> she's not going to want to share her milk. But thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Say bye. She's like, oh, thank God, it's over. <laughs> She's like, and show done. And close scene. <laughs>